What could you add to this quintessential Warwickshire farmscape to make it seem even more English? Well, how about baked beans? After all, no full English is complete without baked beans. They are possibly the most English food ever. Where they come from, the, the source of, of the beans that we eat uh, is mostly from North America. Yes, as the labels show, the beans themselves are Canadian, Ethiopian and even, I'm sorry to say, Italian. But these tins may one day be filled with descendants of this field of newly developed British bean plants, continuing research that was actually abandoned here more than two decades ago. We were cleaning off our shelves, basically. Uh, we had a seed store that we needed to go through and, and, and see what we would discard and what we would retain. And knowing a bit about the science that was done here 25 years ago, I realized that you know, the bean work that had been done had some tremendous potential use for UK producers. And producing potential new varieties from these beans will be much quicker today than it was 25 years ago, as University of Warwick researchers use DNA analysis as a clever shortcut. So, Andy, these beans might have traits that you want, but you wouldn't know what they were until you'd actually grown them into plants, but you can shortcut that. Exactly. Um, we can exploit the variety that we've got here using modern genetics tools. So rather than grow a whole plant, you could extract the DNA from like a seedling and right. see if it's what you want. How much time does that cut off? A huge amount. Uh, the, the life cycle of the crop is between three and four months. Uh, growing up a seedling takes a couple of weeks. This is the largest harvest of this British bean variety in a quarter of a century. And the work done here won't just help create British beans, they could help create a better bean all over the world. Which does make you proud to be British. David Gregory Kumar, BBC Midlands Today, Wellsville.